Well, hello, folks. It's Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors, and I'm just sitting here chilling out. I got me a fire going in the fire pit. I'm sitting on my new swing that my son-in-law Josh, my grandson Lincoln, built for me for Christmas. Look here. I even got cup holders in the armrest for my Mountain Dew. That's what I'm talking about. And I was sitting here just reminiscing in my mind about things that had happened, and I thought about the time that I got injured while I was fishing. And I thought I'd tell y'all the story how it happened. Well, it had been a good day. I had caught a whole cooler full of fish. But you know how it is? I just needed one more. So I cast my line. But there wasn't no splash on the end of it because I cast it up in the bank in a bunch of bushes and limbs and stuff and it hung up in there. Well, you've done it a hundred times. You take a little bit of the slack out and you jig your pole just a little bit. And sometimes it'll fall out and hit in the water. You reel it in and you're good to go. But not this time. So, I reeled a little more slack up and I pulled a little bit harder. It still wouldn't come loose. So then I did something kind of dumb. I cranked down on her real tight and I snatched it just as hard as I could. And folks, my leg come flying through the air at about the speed of light and it popped me right there across my eye socket. Oh! I dropped my head in my hands immediately and just stayed there for what seemed like forever. And and finally, I, I lifted my head up, and, and I kept his eye closed all the time, but I could see out of this eye, and there was blood everywhere. But I noticed some movement. My pole was bent over on this side, so boom! I brought that one in. I got my one more fish, and I put him in the cooler. But folks, I was in pain. I was hurting so bad, I got sick. And I knew I was in trouble. I managed to get my phone out and I called my son-in-law, Josh. I said, Josh, I have just knocked my eye slam out of my head. Could you meet me at the boat ramp and help me? So he drove to the boat ramp and he got there before I did and I sure was glad to see him. And he helped me load the boat and get everything tied down and drove me to the house and then got somebody else to go back with him to get his truck and come home. And when he got there, we decided we would see just what kind of damage I had done to that eye. And folks, that thing that come flying across there that I was using for weight was a, a little old pipe fitting that, that looked just about like that thing right there, you see? And when it come flying through the air, it hit me right across my eye like that. And when Josh got back, I told him, I said, all right, let's see what's happened. I said, go get a cup. He said, what for? I said, cause when I open my eye, I'll catch whatever comes out and we'll take it to it with us when we go to the doctor. Well folks, I was really lucky. The good Lord was looking out for me that day. I really thought I was gonna lose my eyesight, but I can see out of that eye today and I'm so thankful. But you know, I had to admit, I was really scared about going fishing again after all that. But you know what? It's hard to keep a good man down. So I got me an idea. I went and got me some heavy duty, super duper goggles. They even have flip up sunshades. And we got us a hard hat to protect us from flying projectiles. I'm ready to go fishing. So just remember folks, whether you're at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.